you're you've clearly never retired from hanging out. You've come out of retirement from playing trumpet, apparently, um, and you're out of retirement from playing shows. Uh, so it only makes sense that you're out of retirement from recording. Um, I read somewhere on the internet that there uh, there might be a new recording. <laughs> you believe it? I do. I believe what I read on the internet. It is. Uh, yeah. Where well, you been working on songs? New we songs? Yeah. We basically have like. Uh, a whole bunch of ideas we just started really kind of like getting to them. I mean, we're starting at the beginning stages of really we, they, to so, they sound like songs and we're trying to make them sound like Austin awesome Springfield Sure. That's what we're doing right now. Sure. Right. So basically, we'll, we'll, keep work, we'll keep working and, tw- and tweaking and, you know, like, oh, why don't you try playing this horn line? I'm like, I mean, things that we work on, like, you know, it, like anything. Hard work, we're easy. Everybody be doing it, right? So you know, we're just keeping our heads down, trying to get, trying to get like that vibe and that sound together. So, so you know, as a, as a fan, what what can we expect in terms of? I said we talk full length and EP. So it's kind of that weird position where it's like full lengths are like, you know, I think we kind of would want to do it like. Three at a time. Three at a time. Okay. I mean, sure. In my mind, but who knows? It might be so. But like, just because it's like, do three, another three, do another three, you know, just keep working out, just send them out. Like, sure. Threes. Works for George Lucas. Everybody else is in trilogy. And maybe if we're lucky, we can sell out to Disney. If you're lucky. If we're lucky. Yeah. Full length would be great. Sure. But uh, it would be cool to like just do like some internet things, maybe like some small EP things. Yeah, I think and then, then, then like, like, we start off with some EPs and then, because you know, like get back into it, mm-hmm. get really, get your momentum going about what you want to do, where you're going with it. You gotta like, we're gonna do a little, not experimenting crazy, but I'd be like, I don't know, I'd be like, I'd be like you know, we're not going to be like doing crazy shit like, what the fuck is going on? But we'll do some shit that's probably going to be not too good. Well, so let me ask you this. I sort of came in as a fan uh, at about the time uh, Songs from Suburbia came out. And then I went back and listened to Static World View. Yeah. Um, I, I got to ask, was it, you know, Songs from Suburbia, it's it's uh, both are great records with really great strengths and yeah. things I love about them and songs I love. Uh, but there's a different vibe to them. Oh, God, yeah. So, what was the reaction from fans at the time? You know, or was there a reaction? It's funny, it's like, you know, from the Kinetic fan or any fans that listen to Static World Review, it's funny, when Static World Review came out, fans who loved the live band hated Static World Review. And you know, they were like, oh, this doesn't represent that shit, it's shitty. You know what I mean? They're like, I'm like, well, that's why we put it at the end. Like, what kind of production value you want for no money? Because we didn't have any money. Sure. Hey, you know, like, we cobbled together that record. Yeah, like, you know, we're like teenagers almost, basically. You know, and like, no one was paying for it. We were like paying for like, we like working with so we, stupid jobs. We have, like, we have our stupid jobs. We'd have to play like, you know, like a month worth of shows to buy more studio time and chip in. Yeah, we were like, we're like, yeah, and it was just like, we went to the studio, we were, like, in a newspaper ad, like, one record to record, like, yeah, we record here. And like, we like found out later, like, we had like had some guy, Carl Osgood, mix it because it was all like recorded wrong and like all this stuff. We were like, but we didn't know anything. So we were like, oh. so basically, like, the fans of the live show, what we did, the static review came out, so it was the time. I was like, like it. It's because, you know, people were flexing, like anything that they had heard. Like, and then, when the song really came out, people, you know, after a while, like, people were like, oh, I like Static World View, and then, like, I kind like Songs of Suburbia. So there's a, but then there was, like, a new whole, other people who never knew us, just didn't know anything about the band, so we played the town and did some sort of shit, and then, like, like, and then like kind of backlash from that, so it's like, you know, there are people who did, who did like it off the bat, and there's also people who like, it's not as strong, or it's not as this, or it's not as that. We were just trying to like, write a way better. Sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're trying to like do music. HBO is trying to do music. Oh, so so we're like, trying to write a record for like, you know, like, this is the great idea. This song will be this. And we're always writing from the heart. A good place from like being like, like I'm trying to be smart about the song. I care about the song. I care about where it's going. And I just think we always write songs that we like. Yeah. Like, like, like songs that get us on. Yeah. And, and, and like, yeah. we're rehearsing, we're rehearsing, like, we're rehearsing, like, we're getting to a point song that's like, okay, I look around and everybody's got their head down and everybody's banging and banging. And it's like, Spring Hill Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. you know, sometimes, like, the idea in your head, what comes out, it's like, two different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. The idea. Sound like the idea I thought it would be, but then like over time, like, it's like wait, well, wait, does that make sense now? You know, kind of like forms itself. So, and then once it's like put to the tape, did you still record it on tape? Oh, we probably did. Uh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. It was tape. It was tape. Yeah. It was on tape. Both So, which is on tape, which is the history book. Not our baby anymore. Not Everybody else's baby. You know what I, mean? so, I can't hear that record before. first record, the second record, the way it was. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like I, remember yourself we, like, yeah. I remember when we started doing like rehearsals and you're like, I have to go and listen to that record that I did when I was 19. It's like, it like, it's like I always, a part of me is going to like love being back there. Like, it's me, like, fresh out of high school. I was 18 years old. Like, Playing on playing on Saturday for a view and like, so now I'm just like, oh I remember being 18 and dumb. This is awesome. But now like old old man Tyler 20 years later is like, how did we ever play so fast? Because I can't do that man. I could, I still don't Yeah, it's like, we could play really fast, but I don't think anybody would understand it. We're like listening to some like live show and uh, Grant there. You know Grant? Uh, but yeah, I know. He like gave us like the CDs of our shows like in the nineties sometime. At some point. And everything is like or like blazingly fast. I gotta tell you, I picked up one of the uh, I've been going back and recollecting all of the Mash It Up compilation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, put out by uh, by Dan. And and for the first time I heard uh, your recording of uh, waiting watching, comma drinking. And I've never seen it written that way on one of those records. Yeah, and it was lightning fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We always play because we were just like, oh, we're, we're well, like there. get us in front of a crowd, and you see what happens. Like everybody just like you know, we have that energy boost. Yeah. So sure. just through the walls sometimes. That song in particular, like we have a kick-ass version of it now. That is not quite so like being fast. I mean, I like the tempo that was, uh, that was on uh, Songs from Suburbia. So I'm like, I'm excited to hear it. Yeah, third tempo. Yeah.